This is how I do this. You know how I said crispy cheese in the beginning? Did I say crispy cheese in the beginning? <laughs> Are you all ready for your new weeknight meal obsession? You all, today we are going to make my crispy, cheesy chicken al pastor quesadillas. The flavor is there, okay? The cheesiness, check. The sauciness, check. Everything you want in a quesadilla, I'm bringing it to you today. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our sauce together and once the sauce comes together, you all, we are off to the races. This dish comes together so fast. And you can bring the sauce together the morning of, a few days before, and you are going to wanna live in this sauce. It is delicious. You will wanna put it on everything. We start with three chilies and adobo sauce. It gives it such a nice smoky flavor, but not overpowering. There's a lot of sweetness to this sauce, which I love. Then we're gonna do one tablespoon of that adobo sauce. And you can reserve the rest of this. Just put it in an airtight container in the refrigerator for the next time you make this sauce, which will be in approximately two to three business days. We're gonna do a fourth cup of apple cider vinegar fourth cup of olive oil. I like to measure the olive oil out first before I do my honey, because then the honey will just be able to slip right out of this little container. Fourth cup olive oil and half a cup honey. So there is some good sweetness to this. It's the perfect amount of smoke to sweetness. And there goes the honey. Need another fourth cup to make a half cup. Oh, you didn't do your honey olive oil trick. Yes, I, I literally just did it. Oh. Honey, are you watching to the show you're filming? Honey, did you black out during filming? <laughs> my watching and my videoing are, can really only be doing one at a time. At the end of the videos, are you like, what did we just film? No, I, I generally remember what we filmed. So most of the honey just came right out, just bebopped right out. Half a tablespoon of diamond crystal. Diamond crystal. Half a tablespoon of diamond crystal kosher salt. Half a tablespoon of cumin. One teaspoon oregano. One cup pineapple juice. I love buying these little things of pineapple juice. These are perfect not only for this sauce, but also for my zero proof pina coladas. They're just so fun to have on hand and you don't feel like you're opening a big jar. Do you ever do the wordle? And if you're bad at the wordle, you think this is not a good day for me? So I do the wordle at night. That's so smart because I did the wordle today and it took me forever and it shouldn't have. And I'm like, well, my day is ruined. I'm not thinking well. Yeah, and if you do it at night and you don't get it, it's like, <laughs> it's the end of the day. Doing it at night is the elite approach. That is an elite approach because you're like, well, I'm tired, obviously. Obviously. And then if you get it, you're like, uh, I'm amazing. I do all of my wordy games in the morning and it literally determines how I think my day is gonna go. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's like a bones, no bones day, but like- Yes! Higher stakes. Much higher, because you, you're basically ruining your whole day. Overall, I'm gonna go say my way's better. And now I'm just going to blend this until it is all nice and smooth. I'm gonna give it a little taste. And you all, I discovered that I just always use the smoothie setting on my Vitamix when I need something blended. Like, yeah, make it smooth, make it smooth. And I think it also incorporates like a bit of air that sometimes makes some of my sauces and dressings a little thicker. So this is what mine looks like. Um, if yours doesn't look as thick, it's totally fine. What we're going after here is taste. And that will do it every time. I wanna go swimming in this. It's delicious. And I will be taking a straw. <laughs> That's aggressive. Also something I really love about this sauce is if it is too spicy, just add more honey. Or if you want a little bit more smokiness or a little bit more of a kick, add a little bit more of those peppers and adobo sauce. I'm just going to add a thin layer to cover my chicken so my chicken can be grilled with this sauce on it because it is grilling season. And then I'm going to reserve the rest of the sauce for dipping. I will dip everything in this sauce gonna make sure this sauce is all over my chicken and then we're gonna grill it if you want to make this on the stove top then I have those instructions in the description of this video also like and subscribe like and subscribe in these streets these YouTube streets if you enjoy the content
tasting. You can absolutely marinate your chicken overnight in this or in the morning you can do your sauce. Oh, that would make for such an easy dinner. Get your chicken marinating in the sauce in the morning and then for dinner time, all you have to do is grill up the chicken and make your quesadillas. But as you can see, my chicken is in the sauce right now. We're gonna grill it and then bring our quesadillas together. Our chicken is off the grill. This chicken has been resting for several minutes, so now I'm just gonna cut it into some strips. It smells divine. Oh my gosh. Mmm, mmm. I love them on the grill. So juicy, so delicious. Now we're gonna assemble our quesadillas, and this is how we do this for max flavor, because I promised you all the most flavor all of the flavor. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our flour tortilla and we're just gonna brush a generous amount of sauce on this quesadilla. Then we're gonna add a layer of cheese into our pan and put the quesadilla down on the cheese. So the cheese is gonna end up being on the outside. We want to work fast because that cheese melts pretty fast. So don't leave. Now is not the time to go watch shows. We're gonna stay by our quesadillas. You're gonna stand by our quesadillas. Quesadilla time. Quesadilla time. I have my nonstick pan over medium high heat. I'm gonna add a layer of cheese that is the size of my tortilla. I'm using this mozzarella. Kind of just a thin layer. Just get it all out there in the pan. Now we are gonna add our tortilla sauce side down on top of the cheese. Then I just kind of press it into the cheese a little bit. Very gently just kind of move the tortilla around so the cheese will adhere to it. Now we're gonna brush another layer of sauce. Why? Flavor, 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 flavor. Then we're gonna add some chicken and more cheese. Now we're gonna flip it up and see how our cheese is doing. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Let that other cheese on the other side keep going for a little bit. Once you see that the cheese on the bottom is nice and crisp, we can go ahead and pick it up. Oh, and there is our first quesadilla. And here we have it, you all. This meal is packed with so much flavor. Oh my gosh, I'm literally salivating. Added a little bit more of that adobo sauce on top. I have my salsa verde guacamole. You can find this recipe in my summer side dish video on YouTube. It is so good. I serve it with so many things, including these quesadillas. And now I'm gonna try them. Oh my gosh, mm. there are literally no words. It's so saucy, it's so cheesy, it's so delicious. I will be eating these all summer long. 